he says, can we also test features like lightning messaging services and pops up API in local development preview? No, you cannot do that. It is just for having your single local development, uh, single LWC thing. So you won't be able to try that. It may not behave properly if you're you know, trying to do some pops up where you're having multiple channels included. And in LMS as well, it is all about communication between multiple components. So yeah, it's, it's not going to work in that way. OK. Can we keep local dev server enabled till at UAT for any last fixes to avoid multiple deployment of LWCs? So I mean, technically, process wise, process wise, if you will see UAT is not for your development purposes, right? I mean, but it's still, it's up to you how you want to treat it. But uh, process wise, the changes uh, should be in a lower environment first, and maybe you can put in some higher environment and whatever is your lower environment, whether it is UAT or some different sandbox, you can have it enabled there for all of your developers because it is being enabled from the environment itself. It is not being mm -hmm. enabled for a specific user, right? It is environment, environmental thing, which needs to be enabled using a profile, which is having this almost a system admin kind of a credentials because you will need the manage application permission. So yeah, I mean, you can keep it uh, there. It's going to be there. You just need to run the component or application again to use it in your VS code. So that's how it is going to work. Right, perfect.